Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated in Saddlebrook, New Jersey, with Diane Hunt and a group of like-minded entrepreneurs. <laughs> now in the golden, in the, in the context of the Golden Mastermind database, we have here Murderer's Row. In the front row, we have Frank Pecoraro, my homie from El Albany. Renee Trask, client of mine since 2011. Mr. Joe DiBianca, client of mine from 2012. And don't forget Roger Hughes, who is responsible for this room, because if it weren't for Roger, you wouldn't be here. Absolutely. So, and then we have, we have Zena, who goes all the way back to Weehawken, New Jersey, 2012. And my boy Matt Smith, who's seen me speak at least 30 times. So what we have here is Murderer's Row, the New York Yankees, 1927, right here in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Now, I'm going to cover a little content for you today on this right here, overcoming approval-seeking behavior. Approval-seeking behavior is well-rooted in a term called the events, because it's events that shape our feelings. When you start to understand that you're no longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape your feelings, now you're in a state of recovery, moving into a state of awareness called consciousness. Now, how do I end up in a place where I'm codependent? I end up codependent because of a series of events that rob me of my innocence. If you, have, if you find yourself seeking approval, doing more for others, doing too much for other people, you're constantly worried about other people's feelings, you're worried about making a mistake, getting in trouble, offending someone, and then your communication style says, I'm always worried, I'm worried all the time. This means that you stay in a loop called anxiety, fear, and doubt. Now, if you are here today and you're watching this content or you're one of my clients, then you're in a space where you can do this. You can let go now. It's not a how do I, it's an I am state. Letting go is a skill. The skill of letting go means I have the ability to separate my feelings from events. So the past usually is versed on regret. A lot of times the future for many people is, is based on anxiety. The more present you be. Now what does present actually mean? It's a term that you hear in personal development, self-improvement, spirituality and recovery. Being present means that there's no anxiety about a future or regret about a past. It means you give yourself permission today, especially now, not to focus on anything other than being yourself, being relaxed, not worrying about what's going to happen after lunch, what's going to happen when I get on the airplane. You're able to let go and in a very relaxed energy you're able to perform in a set of reflexes conducive to creating joy. Instead of putting pressure on self, which is an illusion, you're not under any pressure, focus on being right here on the carpet, right here, right now, with the people in your influence. The term is called gratitude. Be and stay grateful, because every day that you have is a day called a gift. It's 86,400 seconds. It's an opportunity to watch sports. It's an opportunity to walk down the street. It's an opportunity to smell the goodness that's in the air. It's an opportunity to be an opportunist. And as you start to be that opportunist, then on command, you're able to create experiences that are favorable rather than attracting experiences that are addictive. As you begin to separate your feelings from events, now here's what happens. You're no longer, Aaron, the mind-body connection to the events that shape your feelings. Diane, you're no longer that, that little girl who got traumatized and violated by six seniors when you were a freshman. Your body no longer has that muscle memory that relapses back into a state of anxiety. Now your body, in a higher tolerance, stays in a state called recovery. Recovery is more important than success because success is recovery. And as you be and stay in recovery, you will not relapse nearly as frequently. And your relapses when you relapse are very minimal. So now here's, this, here's the contradiction that we must understand. We want people to like us. It's innate in us. We want people to love us. We want love. That's part of who we are. But when we cross the line and try and control an outcome, then what we do is we try, and, we try to get people to approve of us. If you find yourself being an addicted over obligator, doing more for others than self, then feeling disappointed or resentful, then there's a high probability of codependent challenges or issues. In a very short period of time, you can begin to address those. A book I would recommend is Melody Beatty. 
It is called Codependent No More, Chapter 5, Detachment. Highlight it, yellow it. There's also programs called Al-Anon, Adult Children of Alcoholics, and many other situations that can assist you to be and stay. Now, approval is based on guilt. What many people do is they seek approval based on being guilted into a situation, and they feel guilty if they don't get approval. Guilt is the biggest deterrent to letting go. As you have a better understanding that it's healthy to focus on self and others, you can focus on others with self in it. But if you focus on others without self in it, then you're completely out of balance in your emotional state. Jeffrey Combs, President Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. I offer free 20-minute coaching sessions. If you'd like to receive one, send me your phone number in my inbox and Facebook. I'll return your call immediately ASAP. You have a great day.